Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. New twist. As a Edo State Government demands 18 million Naira from Tony Kabaka for demolishing his hotel. Hmm. This is quite um, a twist, you see. Remember Tony? He was the one that um, Edo State Governor, uh, go Government demolished his hotel uh, earlier this year. And now the Edo State government is demanding 18 million for, from him. Anyway, let's get to the news and get to know why this is what it is. The Edo State government Friday demanded the sum of 18 million naira from Tony Kabaka as logistics costs arising from demolition of his hotel earlier this year. Located at Akin Aloyode Street, of Ogba Village Road, besides Ogba Primary School, Ogba Village area, Benin City. T. Latifa Hotel and Suites, owned by the former aide to the National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, was demolished by the state government on February 5, 2020. The demolition was squared to a seven days notice issued in October 2019 by the state government through the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development to Mr. Kabaka to remove the hotel on the ground that it was built on a piece of land belonging to a public primary school. Demol demoralization of the 18 million, 18 million demanded that the government said is in line with the Section 63 of the Nigerian Urban and Regional Planning Act 88 of 1992 and asked Mr. Kabika to pay the amount into the government's IGR account, account number 00063034 with the Access Bank PLC. The state governor Mr. Godwin Obaseki has denied political undertone in the decision to demolish the hotel since he had warned him in the past that the administration will not tolerate lawlessness. He added that no amount of blackmail will stop the state government from demolishing the hotel because it was built on government land. Businesses cannot thrive when there is anonymity and complacency disrespect for the rule of law for us as a government whatever we need to do to ensure that there is law and order will be done if you have done the wrong thing and taken over property not yours to build a government property is the wrong thing to do if you go and build on the road that is not the right place to do if government tolerates and then more people will become lawless and before you know it, the whole society is flooded with lawlessness. Anybody on controversies to the law, no matter how highly placed you are in a do state, you'll be dealt with, Obaseki has said and has promised law breakers. However, Mr. Godwin, who contained and commanded that the state government takes action, action said the government demolished his hotel because he was opposed to the government in seats, the government of Godwin Obaseki. He said a court had filed and fixed a date for judgment on the site he filed against the previous administration in attempt for the government not to demolish his hotel. We are still in court. I have injunction against the government and we will hear the case. I have the sea of hold to the land and the government is asking me to pay 18 million for uh, expenses. Did I ask them to demolish my hotel? We will meet in court. Well, you've heard it all. A new twist in the taste regarding the demolition of Kabika. Remember Apple Line Media reported some time ago that the government of Edo State has demolished uh, one Mr. Kabika's hotel. Well, 
The new twist is very ironic because, I mean, it's bad enough that the, his hotel has been demolished. This guy's already nursing his wounds. So now come again to, you know, to, to put him in more trouble, in more tight space to say, you know what? The hotel we demolished, we incurred 18 million naira bill to demolish it because you build your house in a place that was a government property. And as such, the government spent money to demolish this uh, place and to put things in order. And we're going to be spending money and all that. So you are owing the government the tune of 18 million naira. Wow. I mean, it's bad enough that this guy's already nursing his wounds and, uh, you know, all that happened during that time. We reported it. Apple Line Media reported and was keeping you up to date with regards to Mr. Tony Kabika's hotel that the government of Edo State demolished. As a result, the government said he built his hotel in a government property that belongs to a primary school that the place was supposed to be used to build a primary school. And Mr. Kabika, who was an aide to Governor um, Comrade Oshomole during his eight-year tenure in um, Edo State, was the period in which he built this hotel. Governor Godwin Obaseki said he has not built the hotel in the proper place. However, Mr. Kabika said he has the CFO. He did the proper documentation of the land and everything is in place and is going to see the government in court. However, he said he has also put the, the, that the, himself and the government were supposed to meet in court before the demolishment of his property. So, um, his demolishment and the court's whole issue is still on ground. Why uh, this is going on and uh, before you know it, he was, his hotel was demolished. Fine. Now, the government is indicting him that he's owing them to the tune of 18 million and that he needs to pay it up. Can you understand? So I don't, I, this guy, in fact, I wonder what he's going through right now. It's bad enough that he has lost his, well, I mean, his business, his hotel has been demolished. But now the government is saying to him, you have to pay 18 million naira. Wow. So the guy is really in a, and he said, you know what? I'm still saying that we, I need to go to court with the government. Yet they are billing me, sending me a bill of 18 million naira that I built my uh, hotel in the wrong place. He said, I have the C of O. I did all I needed to do. I, we, 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 they gave me just a week notice to remove my, prop, my, land, my uh, hotel from a land. How do I remove the hotel from the land? Anyway, um, Governor Gordon Obaseki has denied any political undertone in the matter and said this guy was an aide. The, you know, the guy said he was an aide to the person of uh, uh, Adam Soshumole. And he feels that he's been indicted because uh, he's, he, he served with Oshomole and Godwin Obaseki is not happy with him. He said because he's opposing the leadership of Godwin Obaseki, that's why he's been indicted and, you know, and he's been victimized to go through this process. Anyway, the governor of, government of Edo State said, well, man, we are sorry, but we are not sorry. You have to pay this money. You have done what you shouldn't do. You have built your hotel where yeah, you should not build your hotel. As such, you owe the government 80 million for the amount we used to demolish the hotel. We spent so much to demolish it. And uh, in fact, I, I feel for this guy, honestly. I wonder what he'll be going through. It's bad enough now that he cannot even have access to the land because the state government is telling him that that land is government property. It's bad enough that the money invested in that uh, business, which is a hotel, and suites, which is supposed to be uh, where people will come, he'll make money from, and all that. It's supposed to be a business. It's bad enough that he has lost that. Still not seen that. I don't know if he had a, has other business. Well, he's been slammed with a bill of 18 million. The government said this was the money they spent to demolish, to mobilize, to bring the tractors, to clear the place, to make it a grand, I mean, a, a clean uh, soil again. And, you know, after demolishing, they have to now pack the debris, everything that has been wasted on the floor and when government when governor Gordon obaseki was approached to say ah oh god what's in the go on now is everything all right are you sure this is not political he said no it's not politically driven at all the man has done the wrong thing and as such he needs to dance to the tune of the music anyone who builds on the road anyone who builds where he's not supposed to build will be dealt with according to the law so my people now the matter be this so now the matter be this nigerians we they see what in they happen. Governor Gordon Obaseki has asked this man, you know, his hotel was demolished some time ago. 
and then now they don't tell and say if they owe the government 80 million naira they don't even give her the account number say go pay you the owe so <laughs> what do you think what do you think what do you think i would like to hear your opinion please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news thank you very much god bless you have a good day and bye for now